The biggest misconception that people have when it comes to making music is assuming that you need all this proper equipment to make a good song. And that is simply not true. In fact, 80% of the music that you hear on radio and TV is made somewhere in a bedroom. And most industry artists prefer working in a comfortable space because when they're in a fancy studio, they feel this unnecessary pressure to make the greatest song of their career. And that is just too much. So tip number one is all you need is a computer and a DAW. A computer can be anything, it could be a MacBook, it can be a PC, laptop or a desktop. They all do the exact same thing. Same thing when it comes to DAW. I personally use FL Studio and if you want to get a copy for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description. Hi, my name is Tozi and if you're new here, I share my own music here and occasionally I give tips based off my experiences. If you find value in this, like, subscribe, comment down below and let me know if this was helpful or if there's anything else that you want me to cover. Also hit that notification bell. Tip number two is learn music theory. This actually should be the first step before anything because music is like a language. You can't wake up one day and say, hey, I'm going to speak Chinese today. It doesn't work like that. You need to know what notes go together. You need to know what you should do when you want to make a happy song or if you want to make the opposite. If you want to make a sad song, you need to know which notes you should combine to do that. Music theory can be the difference between this and this. It is very important. There's books that you can read, but the one that I would recommend is Music Theory for Computer Musicians. It's the one that taught me music theory. It comes with a book and some audio files so that you can know exactly what they're talking about in the book. It is really good. I would recommend it. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description. Tip number three is mixing is infinitely more important than mastering. You know, I get people asking me all the time, yo, what's on your master channel? Can you teach me how to master blah, blah, blah? It is not that important, you guys. Mixing is about the loudness of the song and the width. You cannot take a bad song and master it and make it sound good. But with mixing, that is possible. Here's a song that is mixed, but not mastered. <laughs> And here's a song that is mastered but not mixed. Hopefully you're able to tell that the one that is mastered but not mixed sounds horrible and the one that is mixed and not mastered sounds good. So mastering is about the loudness. It is not really that important. Please leave that mentality behind. There's a volume knob in every player so you can just, you know, it's just one turn and it becomes louder so mastering is not really that important <laughs> well it is but it is not as important as people make it seem tip number four and five go together tip number four is you're gonna get to a point where you're good and that does not mean that you're now black coffee or martin Garrix or avici you can just no that means your music now sounds good so now you have to take steps to promote your music. When you get to that point, you need to spend 80% of your time promoting your music and the other 20 making music so that people can know you because you can be good, but that doesn't mean that people are automatically gonna come to your shows or buy your music or stream it online. Tip number five, which goes together with tip number four is it takes time. For most people, it takes four to five years. For some, it takes longer and for some, it takes even shorter than that but typically it takes four to five years. So be patient. Let me know if this was helpful and if there's something else that you want me to cover and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So, peace. Ba -da -ba -ba.